Today I am going to chat about the nature fallacy, and I'm going to kind of expand on it just a bit. The nature fallacy is essentially that anything that is natural is good, and a lot of people fall for this, a lot of advertisers use it, when they'll say that, you know, buy this, it's all natural. Well, not everything that's natural is good. Cancer is a good example of that. Um, glass uh, or, or sharp pieces of uh, uh, granite or whatever, eating those is not good. So saying, hey, it's all natural. Eat these sharp shards of rock. Well, no, it's not everything that's natural is good. This goes, I'm going to take this beyond. There's probably a separate fallacy that has to do with tradition or saying that well, dogs do it too, so why don't humans? Or bamboo, uh, not bamboos, uh, baboons or chimpanzees are the closest relatives of humans, or their brains are the closest. And, well, they do it, so we humans ought to do it too. Um, or it's acceptable if we do. That's not always a good thing to do. Let's be very careful when we do that. Now, I do think it makes good sense to examine nature and say, um, what is what does nature tell us to do? What's our natural impulse? And if our natural impulse is to drink a glass of water, hey, I, I think that's good. Let's let's go for that. Let's do it. That will probably make us healthier. If our natural impulse is to say, you know what, I'm so sick of everybody else being wrong about stuff. I'm going to try to fly. I'm going to jump off the cliff here at the Grand Canyon. I think I can fly. Well, if that natural impulse, if that's what that was. No, that, that one's not going to turn out so well. So I don't know when it is that we should say, hey, it's natural for uh, the male to want to breed with a lot of females. Look at the elk. Look at dogs. They're not monogamous. So it's, it's not natural to live a life according to this human invention of uh, moral monogamy. And I, there, are, there are other critters, the geese, I guess, various birds who are generally monogamous for, for whatever reasons, but generally mammals, like humans, aren't. And they're not monogamous. And so to say, well, we shouldn't, it's wrong to be monogamous. Well, no, it's not wrong to be. It just isn't necessarily better. Is it better to do what nature tells humans to do, which is breed with a bunch of different partners? I don't know. That's up to you. I mean, there, there would be a lot of arguments from a lot of people on both sides of that. So I don't know, but whatever nature says to do isn't necessarily correct. Nature tells me to eat about a gallon and a half of ice cream every day and eat all horrible, complex, carb, sugary corn products, uh, corn syrup products. Uh, that's what nature, like you put some ice cream in front of me and that's my natural urge. It's a learned urge. I don't know. that People would argue with that as well. But not everything that is natural is something that we should strive to take on or be or use as an excuse for what it is we're currently doing. Oh, it's only natural to beat your wife and make her have dinner ready for you at five. Well, no, okay, maybe I, I even argue that it's natural, but let's say it is. Don't do it. It's wrong to initiate violence against others. Uh, we have this ability to think at higher levels than many animals and we're able to think about is it okay to do this thing or not why is it why isn't it and not only is it okay when i say okay i mean morally acceptable is it prudent is it prudent to eat the ice cream like i don't think it's immoral for me to eat a gallon and a half of ice cream a day but there's a real good chance that that would cause complications health complications that would make me die before too long so not only must it be morally okay, it must be smartly intelligent, uh, it must be uh, uh, practical, wise, prudent to do. So, just a quick thought about the nature fallacy. I hope this helps you hone your thinking so that people can't get you to fall for the nature fallacy.